Hi, Michael McKinnon, Security Advisor at AVG. Have you ever used the same password twice? Let's face it, of course you have. In fact, we all have. Part of the reason why perhaps we've slipped into this bad habit is because we don't have an effective strategy, which I'm gonna show you at the end of this video, to be able to deal with the situation which is incredibly insecure. You see, a lot of our traditional advice on passwords has been about creating strong or unique passwords. And the term we use for that are creating passwords that have a high level of entropy. Entropy referring to the level of uniqueness that a password has. But despite us getting into this good habit of creating nice, strong passwords, we're still seeing people's accounts get compromised. And part of the reason is because passwords are being used by users in different places and it's the same password. So when one password is compromised in one place, it gets compromised in other places as well. So it only takes one data breach to compromise you. Let's look at an example of you signing up to a website and submitting your password when you create the account. And that password just so happens to be the same password you're using for your internet banking. Let's say that website gets compromised or breached and all of a sudden someone now has your internet banking password. And of course we understand what the ramifications of that would be. It's incredibly serious. So reusing just one password is all it can take. In 2013, there was a famous Adobe data breach that contained a list of over 150 million encoded passwords. And of course, if you're one of those users and your password is now in the hands of an attacker and that same password you've used on other accounts, then you're potentially at risk. So it might be worth reviewing your passwords and changing them where you can. And of course, the other issue we have to deal with is that there are many data breaches that are never publicly disclosed and you won't read about them in the newspapers. So there may be sites that you've signed up to in the past that have been breached and you just don't know about it. So what are some tactics that you can use for separating your passwords and making sure you never reuse them? And there are really two directions you can head down here. The first direction is where you can remember your passwords and the second direction is where you might wish to store them using some software for example. Now remembering a different password for every site that you log into is actually not as hard as you would think and there's some neat tips and tricks that I can show you here about how you might be able to make that easy for yourself. So let's say you have a password and you consider that to be your strong password and we would call that the password you become familiar with. It's your familiar password. What you could do is have that password that you remember and then for every site that you log into, change or adapt that familiar password just ever so slightly for that particular site that you're logging into. An example would be, for example, if you're logging into Facebook, you could take the word F from face, the, the, sorry, the letter F from face or the letter B from book, that gives you the letters F and B, and then you could intertwine the letters F and B into your familiar password, thereby creating essentially a different password just for Facebook. Now, of course, the example that I'm providing here is not one that you want to use because I've publicly disclosed it. So come up with your own technique, something that is going to be unique to you and something that's easy for you to remember how to do. And that way, all you're really remembering is your familiar password and the technique that you need to have to adapt your familiar password to whatever it is you're logging into. And the reality here is that you're essentially using a different password for everything that you're logging into. So that's the one tactic. The second tactic, of course, is to use a password manager software or an app to be able to store all of your passwords and even have it generate brand new passwords for everything that you sign up to, which is a great strategy to have as well. But what it does mean is that you're putting all of your eggs, if you like, into one basket. And it means that you are creating a dependency on a stored database of all of your passwords, which is a potential weakness that you need to acknowledge. And what it does mean, and what I would advise you do, is if you are going to use a password manager software, is to come up with a super strong master password or phrase or master password that you can then use to secure your password manager database. 